welcome back to Thames. It's me, that's Ben GFM. Thank you so much for watching this series. Thank, just thanks for watching. Just all you do, look, every day you tune in, you watch, and I appreciate it. I'm just getting that out there at the start. So let's bring you two more games today and run you through what you've missed since last well, time. The first thing to note is you can see we're on the player, the, well, the squad screen, as it's better known. Um, there's a player missing from said squad screen. What's really evident, by the way, is that I stick with my very, I've got an 11, we play the 11. And then everyone else, yeah, you play every now and then. But there is a name missing from this list do you recognize the name that's missing mm, the ginger assassin and he wasn't happy with his contract so has decided to leave scored a hat full of goals for us 51 in total in his 96 league matches and um has decided that even after some good times he, he doesn't want to be here anymore i don't know if it, it's competition for places he's looking for a new challenge but um just want to give this moment to pay my respects to the ginger assassin. Who knows? Maybe we'll be back one day. Maybe in some capacity. He wanted 450 quid a week. He might be the ginger assassin, but that was robbery. The ginger robber, we could have called him. So we've actually not played too many matches since we last met. You'll remember last time we played then Dover. That was that was good, wasn't it? And uh, and Welling, a 2-0 no defeat in that one. We followed up with some more disappointment. Uh, a 4-2 defeat to Chelmsford. And at that point, one win in seven. I'm starting to panic. Luckily, Canvey Island were just around the corner. And Liam Danan on, on 64 minutes got us the goal. Uh, we're then out of the, we're out of the FA Cup again. It happened last year. Um, we got promoted. So maybe this is a good sign. But we're out again. FA Cup, third, uh, th well, second round qualifying. 3-0 no defeat. Didn't even deserve to go through. Played a bit of a rotated side. Regretted it instantly. Considering the financial benefits of that, that is... A, a stupid thing to do. But luckily for us, uh, Form picked up again. Another 1-0 win. Liam Danan again on the score sheet. And then finally, 2-2 against Oxford City, who I remember last season were top of the table by about 30 points, running away with it. Uh, but a 2-2 win in that one. Ashley Hemmings. And then on 92 minutes, Liam Canavan with the goal. Let's show you the goal. So the scene is set. It's the 92nd minute. Liam Canavan, the fresh-faced... I don't know how old he is now. Probably like, probably like 37. But anyways, uh, he steps up with his free kick. Can he score it? Well, we kind of know that he does. Puts it in the bottom corner. Gives Gives us the, the, the draw, I could say the lead, the draw, and uh, yeah, we take the point away. Five fans went with us, so that's good. Still, oh, home and away, those boys, I tell you. I'll tell you, that is the physio, two coaches, me, and... I, d I don't actually know. The th we've never met the, the fifth one, so we don't know. So today, folks, and I've set it up, we're playing uh, double C and double H, um, so it, it should be good. Corinthian Casuals, we meet again. It's been some time, and their rise up the leagues has been pretty impressive, you've got to say. First in the uh, in the Bostwick Football League Division 1, and then again in Tier 7, winning that league again. And then again, Vanarama League South actually went to the Vanarama National, where they finished bottom and they've returned back to normality. Hello, Corinthian Casuals. So that's our first game today. Their best player is Steve Butler. It's just not fair is it he looks like a, a regular footballer not just someone that plays once a week okay steve butler i see i see the way it is there'll be a few people wondering 23 years of age ben attacking midfielder oh he's not on a contract so you must be able to so no no. Team-wise, then, this is what we're going to go with today, and it's become the settled lineup for the team that we've been playing. Uh, jo well, I say all that. George Heaven has come in at the back instead of uh, Wayne Atkinson. Wayne Atkinson's not had a very good year, so I thought we'd switch it around a little bit. George Heaven's come in, and we've done all right in the last couple of games. Hallett remains in goal, then Hammer, Togwell, Heaven and Farrell at the back, Scott Foster and Hallahan in the centre. That three still working as they do. Clark Slocum on the right, Hemmings on the left, and Danan playing straight through the middle. I've actually uh, taken the defenders off, uh, the sort of the defensive Mainly to make them more defensive, not ball playing. They can't ball play. But hopefully that helps with us retaining possession slightly in these back areas. I've been playing around with it and people suggested it. So there's two things. Right then, Corinthian Casual's coming up. Thought it was straight away. It's not. Here it is. Okay, we're going to need some big performances out of Clark Slocum and Hemmings. I touched upon it last time that we've not seen enough from Clark Slocum. He scored plenty of goals last year. He's getting a few assists this season, but we need more from him. He's growing every day, so uh, hopefully today will be the day we see a good performance from him. Two games that are potentially winnable. I've not even mentioned where we are in the league table. Okay, well, you know where we are. It's, it's Thames. We're not We're not getting relegated. We're not getting promoted. We're, we're just slap bang in the middle. Right, there's the team's walk out, because I showed you that highlight. It's gone to, gone to TV view. I don't know who the hell they think I am. Uh, but you can see there, 13 position, tied with Merthyr Tidville, Quinthian Casuals just below us, and then you've got, uh, I can't even remember who we're playing later, Hemel uh, Hempstead, that's right, uh, just above us. So, we're in the middle of the two games today, it should be fun. Are they, they going to score straight away here? That would be that would be bad, wouldn't it? As the ball is cleared to Thompson, we're not even, we've not really started. Okay, good. Right then, let's see how we get on in this one. It should be, it should be a decent affair between two well matched, just bear with me while I, Holmes goes through, and wide well wide well wide about that far wide early signs though are that the uh the casuals are up for this and of course they've been a vanarama national side so they're in a poor start to the season but do not underestimate how good they potentially are <laughs> yeah 
Okay, well, that's 1 0, isn't it? Jamie Eaton Collins with the goal. Um, again, similar situation. Signing Ben doesn't want to, no, no, none of them want to join. Uh, it's quite a simple goal, a goal that we concede all the time. Doesn't matter if we drop the defence deep or not, they still get in behind every single game. I've tried and tested it, believe, just believe me at this point. Still happens all the time. Right then, we're, um, we're playing standard flexible here and. I'll be honest, we've not really been in this game. There's nearly six minutes. Got our ball over the top again. Great, Holmes. Ugh, I mean, we are getting absolutely counter-attacking just for a little bit. All right, so since going to the counter-attack, um, they've not attacked again, but the highlight, literally there's nothing. that We're seeing nothing now. So, um, half-time, welcome. And at half-time, Corinthian Casuals won. Thames, nil. All right, well, we've got two options. We either carry on as we are and hope to get a little bit lucky with a breakaway, or we go slightly more attacking, and I'm going with option number two. Lucky okay, boys, things haven't gone right for us so far. They quite like that, but I'm actually going to make a change uh, in this side. Uh, we might be taking Hallahan off here. I uh, guess the, the point we're getting to is Liam Canavan, after his free kick exploits last time, I want on the pitch. I want him to support, get up and support uh, uh, Delan as well. But who do you take off of these three? I think, I think just because he's better, we're going to keep... Halahan on. We're going to take Scott off. All right, then, Canavan. Um, actually, do you know I played him attacking midfield last time as well. He did quite well there. Foster, I don't think he should be quite as attacking. I don't want to be too open in the centre, so we'll drop him back to support. And uh, Canavan is going slightly further forward now. We don't necessarily need Steve Foster doing that. He can play his football in the middle. He's got very good passing, remember, so having him in those deeper areas could be quite useful. The ball towards Liam Delan is actually quite good. As Delan gets there, can he referee? It's a penalty. It's, uh, it's not. It's not. Right, well, we had an action packed first half. Will we have the same again this time around? Right, so it's uh, well. There's a highlight for you all. He just he just kicked it straight at Hallett. But you suspect something may well come from this particular highlight as Butler finds his way through. He's a very decent player for them. It's a danger as uh, Roberts through ball. So I mean, these these really are sensational bits of highlightery. All right, now a mark gone. We're still on the counter attack. I think we might switch it up. Uh, any minute now. Try and get him down. I'm more involved. 6.1. Uh, normally, I'd take him off at this point, but do I trust him or do I bring on Adam Worthington? That's the question. 15 minutes to go. Liam Delan's just playing worse and worse. Worthington's coming on. Now, for those that aren't fully familiar with Adam Worthington, um, we got him on a free from West Ham. You might remember, now I've reminded you, as, uh, well, they've won a corner. So, I'm going to leave. See, see you in a minute. 10 minutes to go. And there's a free kick in their direction. Oh, my dear. Overden with it. I don't even know what you'd really change at this point. It's a bit of a conundrum. Wilson's going to come on maybe for Hallahan in the middle. That's all we're going to change. I mean, time is ticking away. I mean, for a team that have been relegated, I'm not sure if this is a good performance or not, really. I don't think it is. I'll be honest, I saw them below me. I thought, oh, yeah, let's stick it to the casuals in episodes at uh, full-time. Corinthian casuals won times nil. So it's not worked out. All right, then. Um... No one, no one's played well. If you've paid a ticket for that, you'd be devastated. I'm going to get a little... Do you know, I'm a little bit angry, actually. I'm going to get aggressive. Not happy with the result at all. Cause I, how can I be? 1-0 defeat to the casuals. Not even taking it seriously. Even now. Unless they've turned professional. Then maybe they are. Right, we've had some decent results recently. I mean, the, the draw against Oxford City was a highlight. But now, uh, we've, we've come straight down to earth. Saturday coming up, though. Hemel Hempstead, who are in ninth position. Have they just played? Um, no. That's good update Ben. I still feel like and I've been saying this for a little while now we're not we're not really that many games in if you look at the table we're 15 uh 15th in the league table 14 games gone 16 points we're a little way off the relegation zone so I'm not too worried about that and teams we've beaten recently worth noting Greenwich we've got the point against Oxford City so those are the sides we are beating I'm still not 100% sure where our standing is like are there that many better teams than us that it's going to be a problem we've only drawn one game this season draws have been very hard to come by so um I don't know, getting points here and there would be quite useful, but it seems the games that we could maybe draw, like that one, for example, one ball over the top beats us, they score, that's where we need to maybe be getting a goal back or at least not conceding those sorts of goals and, uh, and drawing a few more, just picking up a few more points. But not a problem, not, we're fine financially. We've got all the money in the world still. We are losing 12 grand a month, but gosh, we'll play Aston Villa pre-season, get all that back, it'll be fine. Clark Slocum's been showing remarkable improvements. I wish you do it on the pitch. I've got a job interview from Derry City. Um, I've actually played on their home pitch before. There's a little bit of Dr. Benji FM trivia for you. I mean, I'm not going to take the interview, but at least we found out some facts. Should we do some more? Uh, I mean, I'm talking myself, talking about myself in the third person here, but should we do some other Dr. Benji FM facts that you might not know? Um, let's, let's think of a good one. My first mobile phone was a Nokia 3210. It was the best phone I've ever owned. Yeah, these are fancy and whatnot, but... I was going to say the battery's dead. It's not. It's it's fine. Right then, Hemel Hempstead coming up, and I think this might this might seem 
bit risky from the outside. But I think we're going to go with the exact same team. The only change we can make is uh, is Joseph McCormick to come in at right back. But I think we're going to keep it the same. Hammer does an okay job out there. I'm not too concerned that there's a bit of a much of a muchness about the pair of them. So, um, yeah, Liam Danan, ordinarily with Liam Danan, as we'll, we'll quickly demonstrate here, uh, has a couple of games where he doesn't do anything, a couple of games where he comes back. So this could be the game which Liam Danan sets the game alight. Come on, Liam, bring your, bring your box of matches and use them responsibly with an adult there, preferably. Up front, they've got Frank Noble, who... Um, yeah, he's, I recognise his name. He played for one of the local teams near me recently, which is mad. But he's also been at West Ham, Chelsea. It, I mean, people will know who he is. Right then, boys. The Thames Army are back again. Uh, we're at home, of course. So we're filling the valley, I'm sure. I don't, I don't know what our highest attendance is yet. I don't think we've broken 500. So a waste of stewarding, really. They, they're knackered. Look at them. I always bring this up. And then within about 10 minutes, it looks the same. But no, no they are so tired at the moment. We should we should win this game. Surely win this game. Foster gets back in with a challenge. And now Brown on this right-hand side is going to put the ball into the middle. Could be dangerous. Only got one man there, so it seems unlikely. Togwell heads clear. Straight back to him, though. Now, have another go, mate. By all means, for God's sake. He manages to steer that one home, doesn't he? Because it's his name. There's one thing he can do, Colm Steer. It's that. Billy Brown puts in the delivery. And um, Togwell's got a thing about that. His defensive headers go straight back to the person that crossed them in, which doesn't make them particularly defensive. Right, with, with their tired legs, we, we're going to try and control this game. We're already playing a, a relatively controlled style. It's whether now we can work the ball into the box and create some openings for Liam Danan. It's all well and good, it's all well and good having Liam Danan out there, but if he doesn't score, what's the point of him? Possession-wise, we're loving life. But now, now on control, oh, we're, gonna, we're never, never going to have seen so much possession. It's annoying, though, because I want to be winning games occasionally. Last episode was a disgrace. We were 3-1 up. I threw it away. So far, I'm going to say unlucky. But look, they seem relaxed. They seem ready for it. Let's, let's tell Liam Danan assertively. Um, oh, what am I going to say? The pressure's off today, and he like he listened keenly, which I assume is his is his ear rubbed next to my mouth. Like I can't, I can't wait to hear what you've got to say, but I'm keen. Right, a highlight. First, first uh, highlight we've really seen. Um, it's not not actually in our favour, but. I felt like it was... Oh, there's a ball over there. We stepped up there. Unbelievable. Hallett with the save. All right, well, I'll do it anyway. It makes no difference. Drop, drop them deeper. As deep as they can possibly go. Corner's just come to nothing. <sighs> Shocked. Oh, George Heaven, though. The, the ball said... Forget it. Forget it. Surely, with the amount of possession we're keeping, with their tired legs, at some point, they're going to break. I mean, there's 25 minutes to go. Do I just do I stick with the idea that we're in control? We're just going to keep controlling. They've brought on some fresh legs. 20 minutes to go. Oh, attack for God. I can't, I can't hold it in. Liam Canavan's going to come in as well for Scott on that side. Just a little, a little bit more creativity in the team. 10 minutes to go. Come on. Somebody do something. I mean, someone do something. Get creative. Five minutes. Get an equaliser. <sighs> Just, this is just rubbish, isn't it? It's not even... Fu Hold on. There, is there one final highlight in the offer? Is there one chance, one moment, one opportunity? And we win it back. Hemmings into Hallahan. Where's he going to go with it? Goes out to Canavan. Hemmings again. Now forward we go, please. Foster. Oh, the ball to Danan is good. Liam Danan to equalise for... Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> uh, I don't even it's probably still rolling. Um, holy, holy, holy smokes. Uh, right then. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, that is going to bring an end to today's episode. Oh, what an episode it's been. I mean, two back-to-back 1-0 defeats. If that doesn't get you excited for next episode, I don't know what will. Seriously, that is... This has been appalling, hasn't it? Right, and as a, as a bit of an extra then, we're going to play Eastbourne Borough as an extra So, So we're going to do an extra episode. Uh, there's a link in the description. There'll also be a link at the end of the video, which will be available. Eastbourne Borough, bit of a one-off. We'll see how that goes, because that... That was bloody awful. I can't just leave it like that, but I don't want to really do three games in one episode. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, though, 
please do leave it before you go and watch potentially some goals against Eastbourne Borough. Do leave a like if you want to see a little bit more. Subscribe to the videos and we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, and we'll probably come back around sort of St Albans Margate time, I think. We'll, we'll whiz it on a little bit and, uh, and see how we get on in December. So, we love with care. If we're going to spend it until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. But probably more than most of you, Eastbourne Borough. Because, I mean, we're not leaving it on that, are we? Where are they in the league, Eastbourne Borough? They are... Oh, oh, it was a battle. Oh, that was entertaining. If you want to see some more, and I promise it'll be good, 20 minutes worth of extra content over there. And thank you to Pat, who's put it on Patreon. See you tomorrow. It can't be worse than today.